Have you ever wondered if it's worth it to send some of your luxury items to a place like The Real Real? If you have, this might be of interest to you. Today I am going over all of my sales on 14 items that I sent to The Real Real, as well as give you a glimpse of some of the things I plan on sending in my next shipment. Hi everyone and welcome back to Lori's Boston Found where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. If you are new here, welcome. I am so happy that you found me and if you are a returning viewer, subscriber, you know, somebody who just likes to stop by every now and again, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you who take the time to watch my videos. Today is a video that has been requested quite a few times, mostly because I did a video back in May, and of course this whole year has been like a blur, but back in May I did a video on items that I was sending to The Real Real. I will link that video in the description if you are interested in checking that out before or after you watch this video. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. I sent 14 items to The Real Real, and I just wanna go over today what has sold, what hasn't, and my general thoughts on my experience with The Real Real. Right off the bat, I just wanna say that their customer service is really wonderful. I was assigned a concierge or like a representative to work with me as a new client of The Real Real. Then I was contacted after I sent in my box and the transactions were kind of underway, and somebody reached out to me and said that they were going to take over can I answer any questions for you you can send them photographs of stuff before you ship them in if perhaps it's something that's not on their designer list you really have a lot of hand-holding and I feel like you don't waste time because if you're questioning something you can send them a photograph you can text them email them and you can simply just share an image with them I had a leather coat that was from Italy that was like made in a little shop in Florence I ended up giving it to one of my good friends as a birthday gift and it was beautiful beautiful but when I sent them photos of it they let me know that they weren't interested in it and there were other things that I wasn't sure about that they said that they did want me to send so if you're unfamiliar with what the real real is it is a place where you can shop online for luxury items similar to the setup of like a thread up you send them all of the items that you would like them to list and they do all the work for you one of the main differences between the real real and thread up is that ThreadUp, you have the ability to adjust your pricing once it goes in, and what you can adjust your pricing to is what has changed recently, but at the real real, they set the price for you. So you have a little less control that way, but I feel like their customer service is excellent. So you'll see by my sales, I didn't have anything that made me feel like this is something I wanna do all the time, but for me, I tend to have a lot of excess inventory and anytime I can take something off of my own plate, send it off to another platform that also provides me with another stream of income. So if I'm having a slow week with Poshmark or with eBay, it's really nice to see a commission show up at a place like The Real Real when something sells. What I need to do is to just get into more of a rhythm and start sending them things more often. So the second half of this video, I'm going to share with you some of the pieces I plan on sending to them in the upcoming week. So let's jump right into it. If you are a fan of reseller content and you are interested in seeing haul videos and merchandise that I pick up to send to places like ThreadUp or The Real Real, or to just sell myself on Poshmark or on eBay, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. Give it a like if at any point you are enjoying yourself. So I wasn't sure when I actually sent this package out, and when I was going over my sales, I had one item of the 15 items that I sent that was returned to me, and the send back date was May 29th of 2020. So I'm filming this video on November 25th, 2020, so we're talking about six months after I sent this package in. Of the 15 items that I sent, they kept all but one. The disappointing part about what they sent back to me is that it was part of a suit. I had sent in a vintage Christian Dior suit and it was a blazer with a matching skirt. They kept the blazer, but they sent back the skirt. And the reason they sent the skirt back was because it didn't have 
any, I don't know if it was a size or if the Christian Dior tag was missing. In some cases, they won't take the item if it is missing the size tag or the brand tag, just because I'm sure they wanna cover themselves. So in this case, even though it was clearly, it was like a, a brown striped vintage uh, Christian Dior suit and it clearly was the match to the blazer, they sent it back. And what stinks about that is now that I don't have the blazer, that skirt, I really have no proof that that was a Christian Dior piece and the blazer has since sold. So now that skirt I, is kind of a loss for me. So that was kind of disappointing, but let me get into the sale. So we might as well start with the Christian Dior blazer. Uh, I was paid out a $46 commission on November 15th. It sold for $84 and it says in parentheses 60% discount and I'm not sure exactly if they priced it higher and then this was the sale. Everything is at a discount. I think there's a chance that that discount is off the retail but correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty new at this. So it sold for $84. My payout was $46.20 which was 55 percent of the sale price so I was very happy with that that was my highest commission next up is this Max Mara blazer uh, this is listed at $195 in parentheses it says a 70% discount this has not sold yet so this is still listed next up is a sold item Lafayette 148 wool scoop neck blouse I was happy to send this off but it only sold for $40. My commission was 40%, so I was paid out only $16. Some of these payouts are really questionable as far as whether it was worth it. My guess is I paid around $5 for that top, so I tripled my money, I guess. However, would I have made more money on Poshmark? I don't know. I love sending black things, which you'll see. Most of these items are black because I don't love to photograph black items. So that wasn't like the greatest payout, but it is what it is. Next up is this Zach Posen silk mini skirt. This is one of those regretful pieces. I had sent this to ThreadUp such a long time ago that it was a time when ThreadUp gave upfront payouts. And as an upfront payout, they wanted to pay me $45 for this. And I declined the upfront payout being a newbie at ThreadUp. They don't even offer upfront payouts anymore, but I declined that and now I'm stuck with it. Then I listed it on my own and it didn't sell. And now I have sent it to the real real, which they did accept it, but they have it marked at $85. So if I, it's, and it hasn't sold, but if it does sell, I will only make 40% of $85, which is less than what that original payout would have been all those months ago at ThreadUp, probably over a year ago now. So live and learn on that piece. Next up is these Karen Millen straight leg pants. I don't love picking up Karen Millen and I think these were an older style. They were a low-waisted pair of pants. They only sold for $15. $15 at the real real and my payout was $6. I think it's safe to say I broke even on these or maybe made a dollar or lost a dollar. So the next item that I picked up, I remember picking these up with my mom last October of 2019 in New Hampshire. I bought these Red Valentino mid-rise wide leg jeans. I paid $5 for them. Red Valentino is a lower tier of Valentino. I only paid four or $5 for these, but again, they sold for $40 and my payout was only $16. Realistically, maybe I could sell those on Poshmark for $25 and my payout would be 20. But in this case, I didn't have to do any work. So this was not a style that I loved. I was happy I shipped these off even though it was a lower payout. The next payout was this Giorgio Armani wool blazer for men. They priced it at $76. My commission was paid on July 15th and my payout was 40%, it was $30.40. I'm not upset about that. I have a hard time moving men's blazers, it's not really my wheelhouse. ThreadUp does not accept men's clothing, 
and the real real does and another thing about the real real that i love because i happen to find a lot of it is they accept vintage in fact it's kind of a little niche market over there on the real real so i love sending them vintage luxury pieces which i think thread up would take but they don't advertise that they take it so at least it's a sure thing sending it to the real real knowing that they take certain brands they do have a designer brand list and it changes frequently so i encourage you before you put together your box and ship stuff out if you're not talking to a concierge at the real real then i encourage you to definitely look at their brand list and make sure that you're gathering things that are on that designer brand list another thing i would encourage you to do is keep a list of what you're adding to that box. They don't have quite the reputation that ThreadUp has for misplacing things. And for me, I'm not sending these huge 30, 40 pound boxes like I do for ThreadUp. So this is a much more curated selection of pieces that I'm sending to the Real Real, but I still kept a list of what I sent so that I made sure everything matched up. And I would also encourage you to keep a copy and include a copy, almost like a packing slip when you ship it off to the Real Real, just for more insurance on your part. Next up, I'm pretty sure I got these pants at the bins. They're men's pants, Z Zegna, Z-E-G-N-A, woven flat front pants. These were great. These were a no brainer. I think I picked them up at the bins. I noticed that it looked like a European brand. There, there must have been something about this tag, to be honest, I don't even remember. But these sold on October 15th. They sold for $30. My payout was just $12. I probably would not have picked these up to sell on my own. So to me, that is a great profit. Okay, next up was this top from Rachel Zoe, or Rachel Zoe. Um, and I have had mixed reviews on her stuff. I recently sold a caftan for full price and it sold within a week and it was the TJ Maxx brand. And that sold really quick and I think it sold for $40. So that was a great experience with this brand. But typically this brand doesn't move for me, and this piece was really funky. It was sleeveless and there was wrapping involved and ties and snaps and it just did not look good on a hanger. And I didn't think it was worth it to even put it on a mannequin. It only sold for $20 on November 24th and my payout was 40% so I only made $8 on this. Probably not the best investment on this. I can't remember if I bought this at the bins or if I got it at like a Savers and paid around $5 for it. If that was a bins purchase, and I'm sorry I don't have all that information in front of me. If that were a bins purchase, that would be a great return um, just to not have to do all the work. But if I paid full price for that, not so much. But you win some and you lose some and you're not doing the work. Next up was a decent payout. I was happy with this. This is a Thayskins Theory tweed pattern evening jacket new with tags this commission was paid out on july 15th it sold for 108 dollars and 75 cents and my commission was 40 percent so i took home 43 dollars and 50 cents i'm pretty sure i picked this up at the goodwill retail location in boston and i paid around eight to ten dollars for this so that was a great payout and um, this was a beautiful piece and it was new with tag. I think I did list it on my own for a while with no activity so that's why I made the decision to move this to the real real. I was disappointed with this next piece. I have never sold Missoni before and this was an M Missoni which I think is again a tear down. I also don't think it had the fabric content on it and the tag I remember was a little bit wonky. It was just a simple v-neck off the shoulders black top like a knit stretch. It sold on July 15th for $40. My commission was $16. So a little lower than expected. I don't know how well I would have done with that on my own. Hey everyone, I'd like to just take a moment of your time now to talk about today's sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. Members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, which is crazy to me because that is like two cups of coffee from Starbucks to get unlimited access to these amazing classes. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. 
be sure to check it out and start exploring. Recently, I have been super interested in creative planning and journaling and the art of letter writing, and I have been following Amanda Rach Lee on YouTube. I love, love her channel, and it's super relaxing to watch as I do my shipping and whatnot. So I am taking her class, Art Journaling for Self-Care, Three Exercises for Reflection and Growth, being a little more creative is definitely one of my goals in 2021, and this class has been wonderful. I have an addiction to stationery, and I have all these supplies, and it has been so nice to carve out some time each day with Skillshare to unwind and tap into my creative side. I have three more items to share with you, and two out of the three are still listed. I sent this St. John's jacket. I could not move this St. John's piece for the life of me. It's mint green, and I will say it does have a tiny little stain on the wrist, which they still accepted it. It was very subtle, but I remember I had it noted in my listing. They have it listed for $135. I couldn't sell it for $40 on my, in my Poshmark closet, so the fact that they have it going for $135, more power to them. The next piece, this was really beautiful. This is one of the prettiest Lafayette 148 pieces I've seen. It's this tweed pattern evening jacket, lovely. I don't think I paid too much for this. They have it listed at 145 with a 40% payout, which I haven't received yet because it hasn't sold. So there it sits for a bit. Hopefully that sells soon. And last up is this, I'm so glad that this sold because I wanted to talk about the North Face and the fact that this is a brand that they accept. So this is a men's North Face half zip sweatshirt that sold for $35. My payout was $14. The North Face runs hot and cold for me. I have certain pieces, like I think their down jackets and their more substantial pieces can do very well. I have a really hard time moving Denali's and just basic North Face stuff. I still pick up the North Face because I know I can either sell it on Poshmark, I think it sells even better on eBay, I can send it to ThreadUp, and I can send it to the Real Real. So if it's a good piece from North Face and the price is right, I'm definitely picking it up. This sold for $35, my payout was $14. I do have a Denali fleece that I'm getting ready to send and I will share that with you soon. But let's just recap everything. So in total, I sent them 15 items. They accepted 14 out of the 15. So far, nine items have sold and my total payout of all of those nine items since May has been $200.10. Not a huge payout. I know people that will send just one piece, like a one high-end jacket, and it will send for, sell for $500 and they get over $200 as a payout without even batting an eye. So I don't think I had any huge, exciting pieces that I sent to them, but it was a good first round. And I would say that my experience has been good. I think they price things fairly. I think there were a couple bonuses like the Giorgio Armani wool jacket that I got a $30 payout on. I was pleased with that. I was pleased with my Christian Dior payout. What's interesting about the Christian Dior, and I'm not sure why this happened, my commission was paid out on November 15th. That's the only one where my commission was $55, even though it sold for $84. My understanding was that the higher the price, the higher your payout. And I thought that items under $100 were only a 40% payout. Well, I don't know why I got a $55 payout on that. I'm sorry, you probably came to me for information and here I am asking questions. But if you know why that might be, that that was a higher payout, and the commission didn't pay out until November 15th, so it's not like it's sold right away. So that one I'm a little perplexed by, but pleasantly surprised. So yeah, so my payout, $200.10. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had success at The Real Real and let's um, switch gears now and I'll show you some of the pieces I plan on sending. So I think this will be kind of fun. What I wanna do is show you what I plan on sending and then hopefully I will speak to a concierge or I will consult the designer brand list, see if they're accepting it and let you know if I ended up sending it. So there is a chance that by the time this video is released, I'm not able to talk to a representative. So I may just have to go buy the designer brand list. And in some cases, even if it's not on the designer brand list, I've talked to plenty of people who in fact still send their item and it's accepted. If 
you want a really good reference for somebody who knows their stuff when it comes to the real real, check out Jack Valentine's YouTube channel. He is a pro when it comes to the real real. He has several videos that tell you things that have sold, things that they've accepted, um, things he's sending. He has a ton of experience, so he is a great resource. If you are unfamiliar, I have a podcast with my friend Daniela. It's called Thrifters Villa. It's available on all major platforms that you listen to your podcast. And we had Jack on our podcast. Daniela recruited him and he came on our podcast with his partner, Ryan. But we are going to do a follow-up podcast with Jack exclusively and we're gonna talk about The Real Real. So definitely look forward to that. This is a North Face Denali that I plan on sending. I also believe this is a men's. I had like this little run at savers and the bins where i was finding a bunch of fleece denalis this i just recently picked up last weekend it doesn't even have the, i haven't even removed the goodwill little tag here i think i paid four dollars and 99 cents at the goodwill in boston and this is like a pleated pin tuck lafayette 148 it looks like a newer tag and it's a size 16 sleeveless this is exactly the type of thing i love to send it's lafayette 148 which doesn't move for me in my poshmark closet it's black it's something that i don't want to deal with but for five dollars i'll send it off and see how it does this is a ralph lauren purple label blazer which is absolutely beautiful purple label and black label are ralph lauren's highest tier and this is size four i believe this is vintage it's made in the usa it's 100 percent wool very beautiful i hope they take that um, this is piazza Ciempione, and this is one of the brands i'm not sure if they take this i think it is it's definitely a luxury european made in italy here is the tag it's a nice little pinstripe. I also have to make sure none of these items are flawed. With some of these vintage wool pieces, you have to be really careful before you send it in. Club Monaco. I list a lot of Club Monaco on my own, but this is like a stretchy navy blue blazer. Very comfortable. It's a size two. I'm not excited to list this, so I am gonna send it. And if I do talk to the representative and they are excited about Club Monaco, or if this is a brand that The Real Real accepts and sells well, I have a lot of Club Monaco that I could sell them. But I personally like the brand. Um, I'm not sure if they take this. I know this is a big thread up brand, but BCBG Max Azria. This was the half off color at um, Goodwill last week. And I haven't even done a haul on that, and I pulled a few things just specific to this video. But this is a dress. I paid $4 for it, so I'm not sure if they'll take it. I hope they do. Okay, these pants are a size 42. They are a... These are a wool blend. Patrizia Pepe. Um, I first found one of their pieces when I was in Italy at a little flea market style. This is just a cute skirt. Not sure if they'll take that. Next up is black is black label Ralph Lauren size four vintage. These look tiny, but these are just gorgeous. These are cuffed at the hem, a relatively high waist, just a very classic trouser. I'm excited to send those. I am so sorry that I'm striking out with so many of these brands. It looks like Ralph Lauren is also not on their list. I really need to call and connect with a representative. These are North Face. I'm not sure if they'll accept like nylon pants. These are the athletic like uh, zip off pants. I figured I might as well try it and send those. Oh, this is S Max Mara. So this is a lower end line. I have one of these pieces in my Poshmark closet and it either took a long time to sell or it hasn't sold yet, but these are just wide leg denim. I think that these are pretty current right now, so I'm hoping they take those. I can't remember where I found these, but oh, this was definitely at Salvation Army in Worcester and the brand is called Nude, N-U-D-E. It was really hard, let me just get in there. It was really hard to find information because when you type in nude as a keyword, so many different things come up like nude color, probably a few naked women, you know, but when you're looking for jeans, I could not get information, but I'm pretty sure I've had a pile to go to the real real for so long. 
but I'm pretty sure that they accept this brand. And I think the comps on this were really exciting. This is, oh, this is Henry Bendel, New York, 100% silk made in Hong Kong. Okay, wow, this is so discouraging. I just wanna pop in here to say that all of these brands that are not on the current list are still sold at the Real Real. They're just not currently accepting them. Not sure if they will accept that. These are all the things that were in my Real Real pile, and we will just have to see what they accept. I hope you found this video helpful. I know I always love getting as much information as I can about these alternate platforms for us as resellers. It's really nice to have multiple streams of income. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I wanna thank today's sponsor, Skillshare, one last time. Remember the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are interested in checking out anything else, I have some suggestions here for you. Thanks guys, I love you and I'll be back real soon. Bye.